Hey guys, it's Lane with Techno Maverick, and I want to talk to you about the keynote of the 2015 Build Conference. That happened yesterday, and Microsoft said a bunch of really boring stuff. And these are the first lines of code uh, that Bill and Paul wrote. It's an ASP.NET 5 application, so I'll type docker run dash IT to make it interactive, and you'll see why I'm doing this in a second. The IP address is 1050.0.122. They also said a couple of pretty cool things, too. Prickly Wozniak. Including highlighting all of the weirdness of Objective-C. <laughs> Among these cool things that Microsoft talked about was Continuum for Windows 10 for phones. This is something entirely new that we haven't seen before. Right now, the Windows 10 technical preview for desktops and tablets does have a continuum mode, and that switches to a sort of tablet mode for touchscreen devices when the keyboard and mouse are disconnected. Right now, however, Windows 10 phones are just phones. Continuum for Windows 10 for phones does change that quite a bit. Microsoft's Joe Belfiore was quick to point out, however, that current Windows phones are really not designed to be able to take advantage of this. And that's the exciting part. More on that in just a bit. So what exactly will Continuum enable Windows 10 phones to do? The demo featured what looked to be a Lumia 1020, but actually probably wasn't, connecting to a display along with a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard. After connecting to this external monitor, it was able to run Office apps like Outlook, Word, PowerPoint on that display just as if it was a regular Windows 10 PC. In addition to that, it was also able to run phone apps on the phone display simultaneously. Now this is a pretty interesting scenario, but I do want to point out that this is not the first time that anyone has tried this. Motorola tried this a few years ago with a device called the Droid Bionic. It connected to a docky, laptopy display type thingy. Interestingly enough, that dock is still for sale on at least one website for $400. ASUS has also tried this and sort of continues to try it with the Transformer line of Android phones and tablets. Then there's the Neptune, which is something that's not on the market yet, but it's being developed and crowdfunded. And this is actually a wristwatch that powers a phone-sized display and a tablet-sized display and a keyboard and a pair of Bluetooth headphones. So that one looks pretty interesting, but it's not on the market yet. The problem with all of these projects is that the underlying software that these devices are built upon is not capable or not really built to support this kind of activity. Even Android and iOS tablets of today are little more than giant screen phones, and that does very little to improve productivity. And yes, Motorola, Asus, and Neptune have tried to build or are trying to build software that will scale properly to the device that it's being used on. But the problem with the apps still remains. Those apps are not scaling the way that they should. Microsoft's approach could be much, much better if executed properly. Microsoft's universal apps and the universal code that Windows 10 is built on is really specifically designed for these types of scenarios. And that's where things get interesting. You see, Microsoft has just created a gap in the market of a device category that doesn't exist right now. Why would they create that gap? Because they plan on filling it. Until yesterday, we had only heard whispers that Microsoft was planning on creating a phone-laptop hybrid, possibly Surface branded, but we couldn't even imagine how they would make something like that usable because there wasn't software that was really designed to take advantage of that yet. But now we know that they are building the software to make this work, which means that a device in that category is all the more likely. But what would that device look like? I'm not really sure. Maybe you guys have some ideas. With the technology that exists today, our guess would be that it would be a sub-phablet-sized or mid-sized phone that also ships or at least has the option of shipping with an external display that might have a keyboard attached to it as well. I would imagine that something around the same shape and size of a current Surface, maybe the Surface 3, but obviously quite a bit thinner and lighter. 
So it would have a kickstand, a high resolution display, a very large battery capacity uh, would definitely be an option. And then compatibility with the current type covers would also make a lot of sense. It's also entirely possible that Microsoft just wants people to be able to connect their phones to whatever displays they have in their house, their TV or their monitor, or to stream it wirelessly to their Xbox One um, or any other Miracast enabled um, display or adapter. Um, so that also could be a possibility, but we think that it would make a lot more sense for this new piece of information to line up with rumors that we've heard about Microsoft making a Surface phone slash laptop hybrid. And we're very excited to see something like that. But what about you? Are you excited about a new device category? Maybe being able to carry a full PC in your pocket and use it like a PC when you want to? Let us know in the comments below. We're excited to hear what you have to say.